Paula. I'm Timmy. I'm Dan Carolina. Do you know what a mammal is? Do you know which mammals are found in Costa Rica? Do you know the difference between footprints and tracks? Do you know how to capture a mammal footprint? To learn the answers for all these questions, come with us. We are the Mammal Detectives. Look at this mammal. Isn't it cute? It's a possum. Look, that is an anteater. Here are two mammals that a lot of kids around the world have for pets, cats and dogs. Hey, check out this mammal. Ray, that's a reptile, not a mammal. How do I know which animal is a mammal? It's easy. Mammals have certain characteristics that set them apart from other animals. For one, mammals have hair, although you can't always see it. Mammals are also warm-blooded vertebrates, and almost all mammals give live birth. What does that mean? It means they don't lay eggs. Their babies are born alive, like us. Also like humans, female mammals make milk to feed their babies. In fact, humans are mammals. Cool! I'm a mammal! Come on, mammal detective! Let's figure out some more awesome stuff about this animal. There are an estimated 4,260 mammal species in the world. Our country, Costa Rica, has more than 200 species of mammals. More than half of those species are different kinds of bats. This is one baddy place! Bats, along with mice, are among the smallest mammals found in Costa Rica. The largest mammals in the world can also be found here. Can you guess what they are? Yes, the majestic blue whale. Some strange looking mammals found in Costa Rica include the tapir, king cajur, the sloth, and the coatimundi. Mammals are easy to identify by their footprints. If there are three or more footprints in one place from one animal, those are called tracks. To figure out what animals are hanging at your house or school or park, you can check their footprints. On our field trip, we learned how to do this and also how to prepare the ground so it's easier to see the tracks. Come with us and we'll show you how! First, it's a good idea to do some research on what mammals live in your area. On our field trip, we learned that common mammals in the region of Costa Rica we were visiting included deer, armadillo, raccoons, and anteaters. We next learned what their footprints look like, so we'd know later what we look for. Now we're ready to prepare the land for footprints. The tools needed to do this include a gallon of water, a shovel, a rake, a screen, also called a sieve, to sift the dirt and some bait. You also want to have a flashlight because the best time to prepare the ground is at night. Wow! <laughs> oh, forest! It was exciting for us to hike in the forest at night. We'd never done that before. It was really, really dark. Each group found an area of about 2 meters square to prepare. First, we raked away the debris on the ground. Next, we broke up the ground with a shovel and shoveled the dirt onto the screen or sieve. Then we shook the screen to sift the dirt through it. Although we tried to be quiet so we wouldn't scare away all the animals, it's pretty hard to keep 45th graders quiet. <laughs> We sprinkled some water on the dirt. The idea is to make the dirt soft and clean, so when an animal walks across it, you get a clear print. We had to be careful not to step in our area. Humans are not the mammals that we're trying to track. Once we had a nice big area cleaned and shifted, it was time to pull out the bait. The bait should be something mammals like to eat, 
like fruit or other food scraps. Now all there is to do is wait. The next morning, we went back to the forest with our classmates to see what footprints we captured. Well, we didn't get as many footprints as we hoped. This is the only group that got footprints. The rest got skunked. Too much talking! Our group found three prints. The rabbit, like his nails, his footprints. the deer, this, and this one, and the thorough pelon. The little hole right there and the four little ones. Which is a type of possum. If you get prints, you can make a mold of them. The material to use is plastic. Mix it with some water and carefully place it over the animal footprint. It dries really quickly. When it's dry, you have a mold of an animal footprint. The group still didn't get animal footprints, made molds of another mammal print, human hands. See you next time on Supernatural Adventures!